again, ladies and gentlemen, Jeff Grubb, who is a very reliable, incredible source when it comes to early leaks and reveals of events and announcements, has possibly just dropped a huge piece of information when it comes to when we can expect some more Marvel Spider-Man 2 news, as well as a bunch of other developments for PlayStation as a whole. We're going to cover all of that in today's video. Of course, if you guys do enjoy today's video and find it informative, please take a quick moment to leave a like. That would be very much appreciated. Thank you guys so very much for your support here on YouTube. Let's dive on in. So what exactly happened? Well, first and foremost, of course, if you don't know, Jeff Grubb has been pretty consistent about revealing early events, leaks, trailers, game announcements. He's been pretty accurate with a lot of his early revelations. And just recently, he has gone ahead and on the record said the following. Tell 2 Remake has been officially rated M by the ESRB, which is not surprising given the franchise, franchise's consistently graphic nature. The rating suggests that a release window might be imminent. Uh, I have heard that there will be a PlayStation something, either a state of play or a showcase next month in May. So this is probably going to be there. So yes, it is indeed true. He did mention that Silent Hill 2 has got a rating now and that he believes we will see it showcased in some capacity along with an official release date in May at a PlayStation event. Now, why is that exciting, especially if you're a Marvel Spider-Man 2 fan? Well, because over on his Twitter page, he was actually asked about what he said. And he said, I didn't say that we'd be getting a Silent Hill 2 focused anything, just that Silent Hill 2 could show up at a Sony event that is happening in May. And then he was asked furthermore, hey, what kind of an event is this going to be? Is this just going to be a state of play or is this going to be a showcase event? To which he clarified saying showcase is the way I lean. Now, for those of you that are not video game nerds and you're probably saying to yourself, what the heck is all this mumbo jumbo that he's currently talking about? Well, for those of you that don't know, a state of play is usually a much smaller length conference where they typically really showcase a lot of third party games. Whereas a showcase is kind of the closest thing that we get to like their old E3 performances where they would essentially come out and say, hey, here's what we have planned for the next two to three years. And these are the big games and the big announcements that we have in store for you guys. So, of course, obviously, if we're getting a May event, which now seems to really bubble up since this announcement from Jeff Grubb, there have been a bunch of other leakers, some reliable, some not so much, who have been buzzing and saying that they've heard very similar things. So if we're getting a May event, I think that it is a very safe bet that during that event, we will see indeed Marvel Spider-Man 2's DLC pop up because after all, don't forget that when the latest update of Marvel Spider-Man 2 dropped, they did make the mistake of leaving the debug mode on in the actual release with that update, which allowed people to explore the debug mode and well, locate one of the DLC episodes that are planned for Marvel Spider-Man 2. I'm not going to get into the spoilers of what that character is just because obviously that's not an official announcement yet, but if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. It is a very bizarre choice when it comes to the character that will possibly be featured as part of this episode. Now, I also do want to clarify, I don't think that this will be a case of that one character being the only DLC that we would get, just because I don't think it's a major enough character to have people excited about Marvel Spider-Man 2 DLC. So I do think that it'll be a case of maybe it'll be a character that's included as part of, let's say, a three episode drop kind of like what they did with the first Marvel Spider-Man game. Now, why else would we expect the DLC to be at this show? Well, as of right now, Marvel Spider-Man 2 is really the one game that makes sense to be supported by PlayStation at least this year. I mean, after all, when you look into the fall season, PlayStation doesn't really have any big exclusives to be released. They're rumored to be releasing a PlayStation 5 Pro, at the end of this year as well for the holiday season. And so what better way to drive even more sales for the existing PlayStation 5 model, as well as the new PlayStation 5 Pro model, if not by saying that, hey, our best selling game that we've been selling really, really well as of late with Marvel Spider-Man 2 now has more DLC. So you can either buy the DLC or you can also purchase a game of the year type version 
where essentially we would allow you to rebuy the game at full price again, but this time with all this additional content. So to say that I'm now excited for May would be the understatement of the century. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what PlayStation is able to put together, especially because again, keep in mind, there's still a lot of other announcements that people are expecting from them. There are a lot of other PlayStation Studios that have not really announced anything that they're working on. And so I think that there's a pretty good chance that we will get some exciting reveals during the show, including the possibility of even things like Ghost of Tsushima 2 popping up as well. Oh, and of course, I'm not forgetting that Insomniac Games is working on another Marvel game, that being Marvel's Wolverine, which was revealed all the way back in September of 2021. Now, I do think that there's a chance that we're gonna get an update for this game, considering that all we have is that tiny little teaser. And to be fair, it's been about three years already. So we're getting to that point where maybe we're gonna get some type of an update during this showcase. However, after everything that transpired earlier on this year with Insomniac and the hack and everything, I genuinely think that maybe plans have been pushed forward a bit. And because of that, I think that most likely we're not going to get an update i'll put it this way i think there's a chance that we get an update like maybe 30 percent chance but not much more than that whereas marvel spider-man 2 i think the dlc will get revealed at this showcase and will drop later on this year but let me know what you guys think are you excited about the possibility of a playstation showcase taking place in may and if so what is the thing that you would love to see announced during the showcase is it a wolverine trailer like a full trailer is it DLC for Marvel Spider-Man 2? Is it something else altogether? Maybe you're a big fan of Until Dawn or Marathon or the Bend Studio game or Ghost of Tsushima 2. Let me know down in the comments section below. And of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to leave a like. Thank you guys so very much for your support. And if you'd like to check out another exciting Marvel Spider-Man 2 related video, check out the one you're seeing on your screen right now, because this one discusses the possibility of a standalone Venom game. And yes, there have been some very interesting developments when it comes to that title.